Let's get on down through here, y'all. I'm rolling. Through the city of Clinton. Ride with me. Let's get a storytelling time going on here. Come on! Get us a good storytelling time. I'm going to tell you a story about when I made a convertible tractor trailer. You go, what do you mean you made a convertible tractor trailer? Well, I was working for Prime, and I had my own truck through Prime. And uh, I was heading towards Louisiana, down into New Orleans, at Huge's, Huge's, uh, Pipe, pipe company. Well, I get it was about two or three o'clock in the morning, man. I left so late leaving the house to get down there for Monday morning. So I'm riding down, I forget what street it was, but it was down deep into uh, New Orleans. Well, in front of me was another flatbed. I pulled a flatbed in. There was another flatbed in front of me, and I'm looking at his load. Like, dang, he's got the same, you know, type of material that I got on my truck. And then it just dawned on me that the parking lot for this hugest is not a very big parking lot. You might can get one truck in there, one truck and trailer in there, and then you cannot park on the road. You have to go like six miles and try to find somewhere to park and, and try to figure out when is it okay for you to come and deliver your load. So I'm like, man, I need to hurry up and uh, get in front of him because he's gonna get that spot that I'd be in trouble. So I started mashing on the speed limit, probably 40 miles an hour. I started mashing on, I look down, I'm doing 55. I'm looking up, he ain't, he ain't getting no closer, so he, he must have seen me and had the same thought in his mind. So I got to squeeze it on it, boy. I got to getting down with it. And I got up beside him. I started passing him up. So he got in behind me. Well, in order to get to uh, that Hughes, you had to go under a train trussle. And if you know anything about uh, New Orleans, they got a lot of low bridges and train trussles. Well, I always get the mid route. If you, uh, the freight liner mid route. That's the ones I always get. So when I got that mid route, I can go under a lot of bridges and train trussles that somebody with a condo truck and trailer can't go under. And I'm like, man, surely he's going to go around you know, they got a little uh, service road or another way you can go around them train trussles. So I'm just that I'm getting it down through there. So I go up under the train trussle and I ain't thinking nothing about it and I see this big old burst of light. Boom! I'm like, what the world? Flash in my mirror. I look back. Man, he tried to go up under that train trussle with me and peeled the whole top of that daggum cab of that truck off. I mean, he tore that son of bitch all the way off. I'm like, golly! I kept on going out like I didn't see it. Got down there to where I was at, and uh, you know, got my got my load uh, delivered. And when I was coming out, here he come around the corner with that daggum decapitated truck. 
I said, Lord have mercy. He said, man, why did you tell me that there was a train trussel right there? I said, the way you fell in behind me, I thought you knew. Plus, you know, you got to drive your own truck. I mean, there's signs up everywhere saying low bridge, low clearance. You know, that's the first thing you learn in truck driving school. But he tore the whole top of that bad Oscar off. I don't know what he ended up doing with that thing after that because it pretty much total to me, I, I reckon. But that's one of my old trucker stories. How I daggum made a com what the hell? How I made a convertible tractor trailer. This dude is about to lose something. Hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm ready.